Hey guys, what's up? We're Shinobi here, coming another video. In this video, I wanted to show off all of the games that I got from Midwest Gaming Classic. So, I went to Midwest Gaming Classic for my first time this year. I had a lot of fun. I went through all of the arcades and got to play some of the Neo Geo. I want to get a Neo Geo, so it'll be really cool if I end up getting one of those in the future. I just got to check out some games and check out what... So the, what the controllers looked like and how the games looked and all this stuff like that. So that was really cool. I got to go through the vendor hall, get a whole bunch of games on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, got to meet some YouTubers from in the community. And there were some that I got the chance to talk to and some that I wasn't able to talk to but I saw. And there were other ones that I didn't see that I didn't get the chance to talk to. So first off, people that I saw but I didn't get the chance to talk to were Ian from Pet the NES Punk, uh, Midwest Retro Gamers, Crow, and uh, the Ben the Ben from the Ben Heck Show. And uh, if you guys don't know what ben, who Ben Heck is, he does like consoles, like drew the Dreamcast, and he makes them into portable consoles. So that was really it's he has a really cool channel. Definitely check him out. People that I had the chance to talk to, uh, starting out with Grimsy Forty Two. And Grimsy42 was a really down-to-earth guy. He was really nice. And I just walked up and talked to him. And we just talked about uh, the trip and what who else was at the uh, the convention. And he was talking about some of the places that he had went to. And he just pulled out his phone and showed me some pictures of the games that he got. So he was just a really cool guy. It was really nice to talk to him. I also bumped into Vigigamer. And he was there with his friend looking through the vendor halls and stuff. So it was really nice to see him in person for the first time. So that was really nice. And uh, I hung out with Business and his friend Ryan, and it was really cool to hang out with them, talk about YouTube and video games and how all that stuff is going with Nintendo and everything else, and it was really nice to just hang out and chat with them and show off what we got at the convention and what we've gotten in past times and stuff like that. So it was really nice to talk to all of those people and meet those people and even see some of the people that I normally only see on a TV screen or on a computer screen, I actually got to see and talk to some of those people in person, so it was really awesome. So, let's get into the pickups. Start off, we have Digimon World 4, and it's complete. We have Raiden Trad, and... It's also complete. And this is interesting because apparently this is a rarer, um, like, a cover art. I didn't know about this. Because normally the outside box art looks like this manual right here with all the red and colorfulness. And then on here we just have this really dark and dreary with uh, the uh, big net in really big letters. So... I did not know about this until I did some research, so if anybody else knows anything about this, let me know. Okay, now I got a Super Nintendo game that I've been wanting for a really, really long time. And this is a really awesome Super Nintendo game. It's a more rarer game, and I got it for a really good price, and that game is Ninja Warriors. And I played through a little bit of Ninja Warriors, and I really enjoyed it. This this is just in wonderful condition. There is nothing wrong with it at all. And it is just really awesome condition, and I was really happy to add this to my collection. So, this is a really cool game. Alright, now on to the Nintendo games, and I got... <laughs> I got a lot of Nintendo games, just like in last week's pickup video. And uh, I'm not sure what the number is exactly, but I know that it brought my NES collection to 519 games, which is absolutely ridiculous. So without further ado, let's get into them. Monster Truck Rally. The Last Starfighter. Big Nose the Caveman with the manual. Baseball Stars 2. Captain Planet, Flying Warriors, Gilligan's Island, Kid Icarus with the manual, Stinger, Thunder and Lightning, 
Touchdown Fever. WCW World Championship Wrestling. George Foreman's KO Boxing. Xevious. Um, Power Punch 2. Barbie. Tiny Toons Adventures 2. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Jaws. Defenders of Dinatron City. And Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six. So that's the end of the first pile. Now let me get to the second one. Starting off with Monster in My Pocket. Really cool game. This one had a whole bunch of Blockbuster stickers on it and Void stickers right here. So they lowered the price a lot because this is normally a uncommon game. So it usually goes for a decent price. So I got this for really cheap. I went home and I just took off everything. And the label's mint. And there's absolutely nothing on the front. There is some damage on the back, but I can just take some dollar sports title that has a good back and just flip those around. So this was really cool to pick up. We have Elevator Action. Legendary Wings. Digger T-Rock. Silver Surfer, which I am very excited and not excited to learn how hard this game just is. Because I've never played it before. I was really excited and happy to get it. Palamedes. Spelunker. Urban Champion with the manual. Little Ninja Brothers. Renegade. Tubin. Arkanoid. No controller, sadly. I'll eventually add that into my collection, though, so I'm not too worried about that. We have Miss Pac Man. We have Muscle. F15 City War. Video Mation. Tetris 2. Another copy of Urban Champion that I accidentally picked up. Funhouse. Cartoon Workshop. Caesar's Palace. And Wrecking Crew. So, these are all NES games that I did not have that I do have now, it brings my total to 519. So that's absolutely ridiculous. I was really happy to see all these NES games that I didn't have, and they were all really good prices, and after I got a couple of them from a vendor, I could get a price down like five bucks on a whole stack of them, like this big, and other stuff like that. So it ended up being a good deal. And if that was all that I got at MGC, it would have been a really good it would have been a really good pickup video. But my dad had been looking for a console that he'd been wanting for a while and he saw one, which is a console that you don't usually see, and he saw it brand new in the box, and he decided that he was going to get it for our collection. And that is the Vectrix arcade system. And this was new, he did open it, and whenever we opened it, it still had everything around it, and it was in brand new condition, brand new shape. I, this box would be absolutely perfect if it was not for the bottom, which does have some slight denting in it. But other than that, the box is in really nice shape. So, that was really awesome, and the guy ended up throwing in the Vectrex multi-cart, which the guy said that he actually made this, and he was the one who made the multi-carts. So that was really cool to meet the guy, 
And uh, he said if our system had any problems whenever we opened it, that we could just send it back to him, and he would fix it for free and, and bring it and send it back to us for no charge at all, which was really awesome of him to do. But we did plug it in, and it worked fine, like a dream. This multi card is also really cool because it has every single game except for one game, which you needed extra RAM for. So this has 59 games, if I'm not mistaken, on it. And it's just really cool. We still want to get all the other Vectrix games and all of the inlays for them. But for now, the multi-cart is definitely going to be the thing that we'll be using for it. So, yeah, that's all of the stuff that I got at the Midwest Gaming Classic, which was a lot of stuff. I met a lot of cool people. I uh, talked to some vendors, I got to buy video games, I got to play video games, I got to talk to some people in the YouTube community, which was really awesome, and I uh, got to talk to people that weren't in the video game community, I got to, uh, there were some card games out that we ended up, me and my dad ended up playing, and we got this card game that's called Boss Monster, and it's, you should guys check it out, definitely, I'll leave a link in the description on uh, how to play, but it looks like the box was in an NES and they had an expansion pack that was a little Game Boy it was in the box and it's a card game and it's really cool I'm not gonna go into too depth, too much depth into it you can check out the video if you want it's about boss monsters and building dungeons and stuff like that it's definitely worth checking out and definitely worth playing we put a lot of hours into it in the hotel in like late hours of the night so it was really awesome if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Roger Shinobi, signing out.